great. So let's let's shift gears a little bit and sure. and chat a little bit, you know, more about the project, the regional center. Um, so obviously you you did a lot of research. You said you spoke to pretty much all of the major, you know, reputable regional centers. So mm-hmm. I guess walk walk us through your thought process. You know, how did you how did you end up deciding to work with EB five AN and and choosing the, the Twin Lakes project. And as you were going through that that process and evaluating different investment opportunities, what were what were some of the major differences and you know things that were really important to you that led you to you know to make this decision? So uh, like I said, uh, I actually obviously I ended up talking to pretty much all the major regional centers, uh, be it CMB, CANAM, EB5 Capital, EB5 United, Pine State, Golden Gate Global, and all of them, again, like nothing against anyone. Uh, all of them were super helpful. All of them were really, really, I think Civitas as well. Civitas was also uh, one that we spoke with. But also, all the regional centers were really, like I said, really helpful, really informative. Uh, my conversations with them were really informative. I would ask them, in name amount of name amount of <laughs> a lot of questions and they were always uh, uh, pretty upfront about answering them. But uh, I think it had it's a really peculiar combination which has to fall into place. A that the regional center you you work with you have to be comfortable with that, and apart from that, the project that they are offering at that time it might be a great regional center, but maybe they don't have a very lucrative project. So that doesn't mean that the regional center is bad. That just means that there are not enough projects in the market at that time. I, I went with uh, Twin Lakes because I thought that that was where my money would be the safest. But there are other great projects as well. And I think eb 5 an has another great project in Saltair, which is which is a really good project, definitely. But again, uh, uh, for different reasons, I, which we will probably go into later on, I went ahead with Twin Lakes. But for me, uh, Long story short, uh, a good project which was which was uh, already be in construction. Uh, a good project with a developer who were reputed and uh, and had like a good track record, and a regional center who had a good track record, who had been in the business for a while, and who were responsive and who were willing to answer most of your questions because obviously if you're spending eight hundred thousand dollars you're bound to have a lot of questions so yeah that is what sort of uh, that was sort of what led me towards eb5 affiliate network got it got it when when you were evaluating projects specifically um how did how did job creation factor into your your evaluation of one project versus versus another so job creation obviously like you know there are there are two aspects to the eb5 process a your investment coming back and the other half obviously the green card which you're going for so for me it was really important that the job creation i wanted the job creation to already be there because you know you never know how the project is going to go but if the job creation the job part of it is already sorted you at least know that you know you're getting your green card. So uh, for me, that was something which was really helpful. Was that Twin Lakes had, and Sam, yeah, yeah, again, this is something which uh, uh, sort of uh, piqued my attention initially, and something which obviously Mike and you confirmed multiple times that the jobs had all the required jobs for all the EB5 investors in Twin Lakes project had already being created so you know if your source of fund is clean there should be absolutely no reason why you do not end up getting the green card and uh, you know continuing your continuing or moving depending on where you're applying for continuing or moving uh, to the u.s continuing to live in the u.s or move to the u.s other than other than the job creation what other what other aspects of the twin lakes project really you know really interested you or motivated you to to go with that one over over some of the other projects when we went there we were well we were pleasantly surprised at how well the project was already doing because uh it was almost like you're walking into a project which is like a few years uh into the process there were construction there was construction work which was still going on on one side of it which everybody obviously like there are 1300 homes to be built i think they've 
about about 300 homes which are there so there's still a lot of construction which is going to happen so at least that was definitely there so it's not that the construction doesn't it doesn't seem like the construction is going to stop anytime soon the community was already there and there were people living there and uh, uh, when we actually went to the center to actually look when we told them that we are investors and we want to look at uh, look at the houses uh, that, that experience was extremely good because uh, we were we were taken through. I mean, the the representative, the quota representative who was at the location was really helpful. Uh, he was he spent about an hour with us answering all our questions. He took us through some of the previous uh, Christmas projects which which Coulter has built and how successful they are. So obviously, it's it's pretty pretty obvious. It was very obvious to us that you know this is this is a formula which has worked in the past. So the chances of this formula working again are only higher. I mean, are are higher than the than the rest. So that is why uh, I think we already were interested in the project before we went there. But once we were there, we were pretty certain that this seems re- as legitimate as possible. And uh, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, as as the projections say that you know they'll be completely sold out by 27, 28, whenever. Uh, if they are sold out by then, amazing. That's I mean, what 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 better can a project be? A, what better can a project do than for an EB five investor? So moving moving on from the project itself, what what was it like working with the EB five AN team? You know, obviously you interacted with a number of regional centers, and how how important was the interaction with the regional center itself? Important, you know, in the context of making you know an overall decision. Uh, so I think my my interaction with EB five AN was really positive. Uh, again, I'm not just saying this because it's your interview, but uh, and and I spoke with uh, I spoke a lot with Mike, and he was really really uh, good to work with. Uh, same for you. Uh, everyone was really responsive. Everyone I would get a response through email or through text message as 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 fast as reasonably possible. It's not that I've dropped an email. I'm just waiting for a couple of days for a response. So the response, the response time was excellent. The transparency was really good. Uh, I remember asking for a lot of documentation with regards to the developer and you know uh, different letters and some uh, some. And I, I did what I did was I did send across a huge list of questions which I wanted in writing that you know tell me exactly has this happened like how many projects have you had to date how many projects have had sure. rejections how many projects yep. stuff like that so i did have that yep. questionnaire which i sent across which 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 were answered so which was which was really good and the surprising thing is that one of the uh one of the other couple of other regional centers never got back to me with the answers so i have no idea what they were trying to hide but <laughs> that was that was a clear red flag for me that if you're not getting back to me with clear cut answers that means something's a mess so yeah. so that was i mean overall my experience has had been really really smooth and pretty i mean it seemed from our conversation everything was matching up everything was pretty open and honest communication so that's that's exactly what i was looking for 